Hey, if you don't know, thanks to John Kerry, Joe Biden, um, Michelle Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, uh, refrigerant prices for HFC, which is R134A, and for your home AC, it's R410A, and probably a, maybe a couple other refrigerants, it's 134A. But if you didn't know, the, um, the freaking price of this shit is now $400 for a 30 pound uh, jug. And for the house stuff, the R410A, it comes I think in 11 pound cylinders, this is 30, but even that's $400, so it's even more expensive than this. And, uh, well, you chose to vote for them, so, you know, that, that is what the deal is, but if, if you did choose to vote for them, I did not. But, uh, isn't that crazy? How about, how about this? Let's go outside and we can go tell you my story of what I think could happen, but I highly doubt it because people, there's no really market for it, but let me, let me just uh, explain this here. This is $800 right here now, and I have another tank, so that's another $400. I have another tank in the garage, it's another $400 now, and I have like almost a full tank, probably has at least um, 20 pounds in it or something inside. Let me put the bug zapper right here, that's funny. We got um, mosquitoes everywhere. They leave their gutters filled with water over here, these dickheads. And we have mosquitoes, they're nesting in it. So our 410 is in here. So, look at all mosquitoes over here, Jesus. But, uh, oh, they're attacking me. So we're gone. So, so are they going to, um, you know, if someone had a recovery uh, bottle and a machine, you can literally suck out people's refrigerant at night. And, you know, that's probably at least 10 pounds. That's $400. $400. $400. $400. You know, plus. See, this is just some, like, cheap Chinese stuff. But pretty much, you know, one of these things. And you get the recovery tank right here. And you could evacuate the system for anyone's home. So, so is this, like, something that's going to go on? Probably doubt it, but it could. And uh, someone can probably, you know make that back and then profit this this like stealing refrigerant now is this going to be a thing probably won't be but and there's probably no market for it but very well could it uh it could it could happen because the shit's so fucking valuable now thanks to the um the epa psychopaths who run this country who are making everything more expensive for you the consumer but a lot of people don't care in this country they don't care and if they don't care Fill the crap out of those people. Let them sweat. Let them drive around in a car with no air conditioning. Let them live in a home with no air conditioning. Because they deserve it. They deserve it. And if they want to fix, hit them with a high, 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 high bill. Like double what you would somebody else. Just, just F them. Because this is what's going on in our country. And a lot of people, they have, they, they have no problem with it. They think it's okay. And it's not okay to charge this kind of money. For, wait, let's go. Well, this one, this is a kind of, I don't even know. <sighs> like, even for a f little five pounder, $239. See, this is, this is just not okay. Not okay. That's 404A different shit. But, um, it's not okay at all to be charging the American citizen this much. And people keep on moving south. They keep on moving south more and more and more. More and more. They moved south. And then they don't think about this. They don't think about this. They don't think about it at all. About the cost of things. They say, oh, it's just fine. Oh, we're moving to the south. Oh, it's nice and warm here. It's nice and warm. Yeah, what about one of these condos that don't have any effing windows? I have no windows to open when it's hot. I almost died when the hurricane happened because it was so fucking hot in this house. Almost died. I had to go sleep in my truck and get bit by mosquitoes for a little bit. A little little hour nap with the poor thing running. Ah, oh, man. So this is what we're up against in this country. Up against in this country. Great price. Like, great price. The guy sold 18 of them. $540. Oh, my God. Great price. Well, you better put chains around that and uh, a yeah, full-time security guard. Oh, no. And then China just produces this shit, too, for less. And the Chinese gas is horrible. I bet in China they probably get this gas for like, you know, one third the price of America, but you know, I wouldn't run with like Chinese refrigerant. Chinese refrigerants commonly what you get an R34A now at the store. I don't trust it, but the cast number is the same and everything. Thank you, Toll Wrecker, when he used to be frequent on YouTube for telling me that. You see this shit? It's like the same stuff I have. 
362. Okay, I said the $400, but still with tax and everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, cameras. I got a, like a, a couple containers of this shit over there. 370. You know, this used to be, when it was 170, it was a lot. What the hell? So people keep on moving south. They move to the hot climates, and I don't think about this. They just go, eh, it's fine. It's fine. You know, no one, no one's in a mechanical really mindset. And they're seeing the, and the price of parts, the availability of parts, the complication of the systems and the extra BS that you need just to fix something. Like, just no one cares and they just allow this bullshit to happen. Allow it, allow it, allow it. And they keep on moving. I think this is a war on the people who actually live in hot climates. I think the government's doing this on purpose. They know that these people solely in the south, they, they don't really, they don't really as a whole side with the, uh, the, the greenies. So, so maybe, I don't know, that's my conspiracy theory. I'm gonna leave it right there. You know, why else would this happen? Oh, but it's supply. It's supply and demand, supply and demand. Oh yeah, bullshit, man. You're just raising the prices so these, so these mega companies who produce this shit are making these huge, 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 huge profits. Just like the oil companies right now. But yeah, this, this is insane. But I'm glad I hoarded stuff when I can. People used to laugh at me for hoarding shit. Go, yeah, oh, you're never gonna use it. Oh, you're never gonna use it. Oh, yeah, really? Really? Oh, yeah, even though I never use it, the value of it's going up to the freaking roof. I'm glad I have enough refrigerant to, like, charge cars for, like, the rest of my life. And I'll probably never run out. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's time just to go pop hoods at night and go recover refrigerant in cars, too. I don't know. And, ch and think this is bad. R134A, the old stuff. Or the R4108 HFC refrigerants. What about that HFO BS? That government HFO stuff. It's even more expensive. Even more expensive in your new car. And it doesn't even cool well in these hot climates. It does not cool well at all. What is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. YF or whatever. Don't look at small. Four small cans. What about a tank of it? See, here's the tank. 10 pound cylinder. Look at this crap. Look at this crap. 10 pound cylinder. Oh, it's just unbelievable. You can buy R12 for less money than that. Unbelievable. And you buy a 30 pound container. Yeah, you know, R12 prices are kind of stabilizing. Nobody really wants to shit anymore. It's funny when the other refrigerants are more money than R12 now, you know. It's a... Yeah. Because R12 has not been used for like 30 years now, so... Almost about 30 years. Yeah, 1993 or so, yeah. 1992 is about to cut off. 1993. Yeah, well, that's what we're up against in America. Have fun, enjoy spending extra money, and if you didn't hoard in life, you're going to be screwed. And uh, I'm not saving your ass because if you didn't collect stuff, and I did, and, you know, you can't be giving everyone a deal because you got the stuff and everyone else is stupid, you know. It's just, they wanted to, they wanted to spend their money at McDonald's or something instead, you know, instead of hoarding stuff. So that's what we have going on now crazy price I'm up uh, I'm probably close to $1,500 total I'm sitting on a refrigerant right now which is just fucking insane in the two-year period I, I, I actually if I I bought even more refrigerant over the years I probably would have made more money off refrigerant than you could have off the stock market so that just tells you again you're better off buying hard items in this country than investing it into the stock market I'm selling with ammo, with firearms, with refrigerant, with car parts, you know, shit like that. You were better off, you know, made in USA car parts, but you don't make anymore. You were better off hoarding that crap than putting your money into the stock market. And land, too, if you would have bought some piece of crap land or something or some BS rental property. You're better off. So that's just my advice. On freaking real.